so I was going to save this video for a TikTok live, but I guess I'm just going to make it on Snapchat. And I'm going to tell you the story about me and Rufus. A lot of you saw my story yesterday, saw that I'm trying to find a home for him. Uh, I'm not actually trying to get rid of him. Um, however, I am trying to find a more solid and permanent home for him. Um, it, unless you've been living under a rock, you're aware that I'm a full-time van lifer and, uh, you know, kind of just a nomad more than anything. I don't have a job or kids or anything that keep me locked down. And a few months ago, I was introduced to my dog, Rufus. So to really tell the story full circle, uh, going back all the way to 2019 was when I declared myself homeless for the first time. I moved out of this place. I was living with a couple of roommates. And uh, for the first couple of months, I was living out of my car, living out of a tent. And in June of 2019, I bought my first van. So that summer, I started van life for the first time. And I very quickly realized that a full-time job was just not suiting me for van life. So I immediately took off, spent a little bit of time up north, ended up getting a bartending gig that summer. And uh, that winter, I eventually decided it was time to take off and I went out to Colorado. That summer of 2019 was like my first real taste of freedom. I spent a little bit of time up north. Uh, I had a bartending gig for most of the summer. And uh, I also got to visit some friends down in Iowa. And that was when I learned that my friends Scott and Hallie, their dogs, Sam and Rocky, were having puppies. And that was the first inkling I had to get a dog. I actually even put a down payment and was set to get a puppy that summer. Being that I was so new to van life, I wasn't really, to, wasn't really quite ready to take that leap and get a dog, especially not a brand new puppy. Uh, so out of fear, I eventually uh, decided to back out of buying that puppy. Um, it actually worked out. Uh, Scott and Hallie, unfortunately, had to endure the loss of Rocky just a few days after the puppies were born. And so the puppy that I was set to buy, they ended up keeping. And uh, I'm proud to say that Rooster, the, the new puppy, the puppy that was meant to be for me, he's doing great. So come 2020, I'm living in my van, I'm out in Colorado, I'm freezing my butt off. What happened next was I moved back to Wisconsin, I got back together with Amber, we started seeing each other, COVID happened, I moved in with Amber, I spent a year living in an apartment with Amber and her kids, and ultimately just decided that was not the right choice for me. April of 2021, Amber and I moved out of her apartment, we thought we had a place lined up, it fell through last minute. So last summer was my second stint with homelessness. Amber and I were living out of her van for most of the summer. We ended up breaking up and splitting ways at the end of the summer. And that's when I bought the van that I'm currently living in, in early October. And I hit, an, hit the road on an absolutely epic road trip this fall. So this fall I hit the road. I was living van life. I had the absolute most freedom of my life. I was headed to the Rocky Mountains. For those of you that got to watch, I got to see some awesome mule deer, some awesome elk, some bighorn sheep. It was just the absolute time of my life. Once winter set in, I had a little, headed a little further south. I spent about seven weeks in the Phoenix area, Sedona, Arizona. Absolutely loved Arizona. But before I made my way back to the Midwest for the spring, I knew I had to get out to the ocean. And this is when the, I would say, second seed was planted for me getting a dog and that was when I met this gal Ashley on the beach at dog park in uh, San Diego we bonded we watched the sunset we smoked a doobie had a couple beers she told me about this stray dog that she had just rescued and how it saved her life and so it was just planting the seed in my head about a week later as I was making my way back towards Wisconsin I stopped in Arizona again and that's when I met another clan of absolute vagabond hippies shout out to tree and sunshine and all those fr great friends that I made but that was when I met Dom and his dog Sir Loin and that was the second seed that was planted uh, my buddy expressed to me what what it meant rescuing a dog for him and I got to spend some time with them and it was an absolute experience so it wasn't but maybe another week later I was traveling through Iowa and that was when I met Rufus when we talk about synchronicities, as I mentioned, the gal I met on the beach in San Diego, her name was Ashley. When I was coming through Iowa, the place, the friend whose place I stopped at was another friend. Her name is Ashley. I stopped at her place. She has a nice little off-grid cabin. She offered to put me up for a couple days. I actually stayed there a handful of times this spring. You probably saw Snapchats from that or TikToks from that, catching big crappies and bass out of her pond. 
But anyway, it was mid-March, and I was still traveling. I was making my way back to Wisconsin. Ashley mentioned to me that this cute little hound dog showed up. He had no collar. She didn't know who he was or where he was from. He was a stray that had just showed up on her farm. I spent the night there at Ashley's place, and the very next morning I was trying to catch fish out in the pond. The dogs were up at her house, and they were just barking their balls off. So I made my way up to the cabin, and I singled out Rufus. I pulled him aside, and I said, hey, buddy, how you doing? He was so calm, so gentle. His demeanor, his body language, I could just tell. It was like, I, I mean, it was just, it was love at first sight. He was in love with me. I was in love with him. I pulled him aside, I asked him if he wanted to come travel with me and, and hit the road in the van life, and he didn't say no, and he jumped in with me, and we actually took off that day, went down to Missouri, did some artifact and agate hunting with my boy Dusty, and uh, camped out, and then uh, we made our way back to Wisconsin and did some shed hunting, went up to uh, the uh, compound up in Superior and uh, did some shed hunting, and made my way back down through home, and back down to Iowa again and we spent the spring chasing morel mushrooms I think together we've been together Rufus and I have been to nine states we were traveling for the first two months for the last two months now we've been in Wisconsin we're looking to do a little more traveling but it's time to make some money so if you're looking for some photos or some video work done I'm your guy again if you've been living under a rock then you're not familiar that I'm a professional filmmaker and photographer go check out all my work links in the description below Follow me on TikTok, Snapchat, Instagram. Obviously, I got the YouTube channel, Hunteraj TV. Thanks for watching this video, this story of Rufus and I. Have a great day.